Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing. In this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. It's a good time of year to be catching your tailor and your salmon from the beaches and the ocean rocks. So I'm going to run through the lures that I use to catch tailor and also the rod and reel line leader that I use. Alright guys, check it out. Alright guys, here's my tackle box I take down when I go tailor fishing. I'll run through a few of these lures and uh, after I show you the lure, I'll put a couple of photos up at the end of it, of the fish that I've caught on them. This one here is the hybrid sinking minnow, weighs about 40 grams, good lure. You can cast it a mile, it sinks down, you just slow roll it in for Taylor. You can wind it, pause it, twitch it, all that kind of stuff. Works anyway, or you can actually wind it in with a bit of speed for when you're Bonito around in the summertime and um, stuff like that. I've caught Taylor, Bonito and Mac Tuna on these. There's a red and white one. Uh, another bait fish kind of colour. There's another bait fish colour one as well. And there's also a pilchard one that I don't have at the moment. Because I lost it. But it works good. But all these colours work. I've caught fish on all of them. So that's the hybrid sinking minnow. The next lure here is the Barra Slim Minnow 210mm. This is a floating lure. This absolutely works awesome, especially when the garfish are around. It's got that long slender profile, matches the hatch of the garis. First time I ever got one of these, I went down the rocks, cast it out, hooked up a big kingfish, took me straight down the rocks, snapped me off. I actually got a video on it. If you want to check it out, it's called A Big Fish Stole My Lure. But these things are absolutely awesome. I've caught plenty of good tailor on these. They work very, very well. And the, um, this lure here would be also good in summertime over your sand flats for your big flathead to match the garfish and the whiting and mullet, like the bigger fish that the big flathead are chasing. So good for your tailor salmon, even bonito, kingfish, and um, also big flathead too, I reckon it would go good on. Probably even mangrove jack and that kind of stuff. So that's the Barra Slim Minnow. That's the shad colour. And here's a new colour that I got in it. A white one. I haven't tried this one yet, but be definitely keen to give this one a go. And this one will also work as well. The next lure we got here, this is the uh, Big Minnow. This thing absolutely slays the tailor. Nice slender profile, good bait fish pattern. Comes with three trebles on it. Absolutely weapon of a lure. It's got a real loud rattle in it. Transfer weight that goes to the back when you cast to get the extra distance. And you just slow roll that in or wind, pause, twitch it and the tailor absolutely smash it. I've caught some good tailor on that. Also got a video using that. And I'll link it in the description below. Same with the hybrid minnow and the uh, Barra Slim minnow I've got videos for, so I'll link them below. This one here is the C minnow. This is a good lure, I've caught some good tailor on this. It's got a transfer weight in it too, to help cast. So when you cast, that weight there slides down to the back and then when you wind it goes back up to the front to help it get down. This came with trebles on it but I took the trebles off it and I put single hooks on it. The reason why I use single hooks is because I let all my tail go and trebles sometimes it's hard to get out their mouth and it wrecks their mouth a bit so I like to release them so I just use single hooks so it makes it a lot easier. It's easier to um, lose fish and a bit harder to hook them but um, I'm letting them go anyway, so I'll just use singles. If you're going to keep the fish to eat, I'd probably leave the trebles on. So that's the sea minnow. I've got a video using that too. I'll also link that below. Uh, 
Uh, this one here is the Torpedo Popper. First time I used this, I absolutely slayed the tailor on it. They were all over it, just like I was fighting to get it. Absolutely a weapon of a lure for tailor popper fishing. Works good, caught plenty of tailor on that. The Torpedo Popper, I also got a video that I'll link below. This is a new one, this is actually the old one here that I caught all the fish on. It's absolutely been smashed. So that works good. It's a different colour, the yellow and orange. When I first used I didn't think it would be that good, but it absolutely slayed them. Alright, so them lures I showed you there, the ones that I've caught fish on. I've actually caught fish on this one too. This one here is a sink and stick bait. Where I've changed over and put single hooks on it as well. I've caught Benito on this one. And I um, also caught a little dolphin fish at the fat on it. That's a nice little stick bait. It's got a bit of weight in it. You can cast a mile. That will also work good on your tailor, salmon, bonito, your tuna, all that kind of stuff. And dolphin fish, kingfish, any kind of, any of them pelagic fish that just love chasing bait fish. That's a perfect little garfish looking lure, so definitely worth a try this one here is a pencil popper it's got an absolute ton of weight in it casts a mile you just burn it across the surface at high speed so it looks like a fleeing bait fish and that would go good on your tailor your um tuna and kingfish and that kind of stuff as well i've never caught a fish on this yet but i've only threw it a few times to see how it works but i'll be definitely using this some more and it will catch fish so that's an awesome looking lure and this one here is a surface walker just a floating uh stick bait you just walk the dog style across the surface i haven't caught any fish on this yet i've had a few fish bust up behind it but i didn't hook them but this will definitely work on your um tailor and it'll be also good over the flats for um surface fishing for flatted i reckon just with that walk the dog style so that's definitely worth a go there, the surface walker. And I also carry some spinners, the good old metal spinners. Everyone knows that these catches fish. This is a Spaniard Strike at 45 gram. Absolutely killer lure with the hole in there. So the bubble, leaves a bubble trail when you want it. Caught Taylor on this, Salmon, Bonito, all that kind of stuff. These work absolutely great. They're a good lure. The old metal spinner, you can't go past them. And I also carry a couple of different bait fish style ones, just like that. And the old Spaniard Raider, 65 gram, you can't go past them. Everyone knows they catch fish. They're awesome lure, so it's always good to carry spinners. That's a 65 gram one, and there's a 40 gram one. Good on your tailor, salmon, bonito, tuna, all that kind of stuff. And I also carry some plastics with me, and some jig heads. Because after I go tailor fishing, I usually chuck on a plastic and roll it around just on dark through the wash to see if there's any school dew hanging around. But you do not want to be using plastics when the tailor are on thick, otherwise they'll just bite them to pieces. But good for your dewy and uh, salmon and stuff like that. And I also carry these. These are the single hooks where I take the trebles off and uh, put these on. These are the Gamagatsu single lure hook in a 2 -oh. So I usually take the trebles off and put them on just because I release my tailor and it makes it a lot easier to release them but like I said if you're going to keep the tailor I'll just leave the trebles on so then you know you're not going to lose him so I carry some single hooks got a couple of packets of those also carry some Gamagatsu Hyper Split Rings stainless steel 22 kilo in case I need some split rings to change over and I also carry these with me too these are a quick clip which is good because when you tie your braid to your leader you don't want to be chopping your lure off all the time and tying on another lure because it shortens your leader and then you're always tying knots. So I use these, so I always keep the same leader and it's easy just to clip a lure on and off whenever you want to change your lure. I'll show you here. All right, guys, here's the quick clip. Just there, tie your line onto the back piece there, then the front bit there. Yeah, um, clip your lure on and what you do is you just get it put it onto the eye of the front of your lure like that and just turn it and it just clips on like that and then you just got your lure swinging free like you're using a loop knot then if you want to change your lure just take it off and put on another lure 
they're nice and strong haven't had any problems with them yet so they're a very good idea makes it quick and easy to put on another lure definitely worth having in the tackle box all right here's the rod and reel that i use this is a shimano katana nine foot two shore spin six to eight kilo and i got a shimano solstice four and a half thousand fi reel on it with sunline siglon 20 pound braid and i use 30 pound black magic leader you don't have to use black magic this is fluorocarbon you can use any 30 pound fluorocarbon you don't even have to use fluorocarbon you can just use normal mono tailor ain't very fussy but i usually use fluorocarbon case when i change over to the plastics and chuck them out but yeah you can go 20 pound 30 pound 50 pound because taylor do have sharp teeth and if they grab the front of the lure there's a good chance they'll bite you off but i usually just go 30 pound so like i said after i'm taylor fishing i can put on a plastic and roll it around for some school juice but yeah any 30 pound fluorocarbon or just normal mono whatever you prefer will do the job and i'll also carry a little set of split ring pliers for when i'm changing over me trebles the singles all right guys any of the lures i showed you here set for the spinners and the soft plastics so just the diver lures and the stick baits and stuff you can pick up from tournament tackle from anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars around that range they're a good price lure and they work very well so you get them on the tournament tackle ebay store I'll link that below in the description. Sometimes when you go on there, they're not always on there, the lures, but just keep checking back every couple of weeks because you restocks. So there's also some other good lures on there as well. Like this is a 210 mil. This comes in a 140. Plenty of those. They will also do the job. But yeah, there's like a good range of lures on there from freshwater to saltwater. You've got your brim lures, surface lures diving lures bigger diving lures and your freshwater lures bass yellow belly and cod so that's the tournament tackle ebay store real good lures i'll link it in the description below make sure you check it out if you want some good lures for a good price all right guys that's all the stuff that i use so hopefully you get out there and get a few of these lures and give it a go so if you get any of these lures guys and you catch any fish on them go to the video and drop a comment and let me know how you go with them and I'll also link the videos in the description below of me using these lures catching the fish. So there'll be like five different uh, videos of me using these lures catching Taylor and that kind of stuff. Alright guys, that's just about it. Okay guys, there's a quick run through on the gear that I use for Taylor. The lures, rod, reel, line and leader. And also guys, I just hit 8,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So thanks to everybody for the support. It's much appreciated. So if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.